Hi, dear love, I'm Nicole, and welcome to our weekly spiritual guidance for February 18th through February 24th, 2018. Spiritual guidance is for your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, and your cusp signs as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started. This is the week where we are the willful builder. We are really pouring in the utmost effort to achieve our dreams. Spirit is asking us to put in that work and achieve it, manifest it, even in the face of resistance. So when that storm comes, you will know that you've already poured out to the universe, I need help. And that help is going to come as you follow your spiritual guidance. Pay attention to the synchronicities, the messages, and the signs that come to you. They will be undoubtedly from our Creator. Let's begin by taking a beautiful deep breath in and raising our vibration. You ready? Deep, deep, deep. Challenge your human and let it out. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you. The old will rarely just give in. It wants to come with you. People from your past. People that have to stay in the past. Memories are going to surface this week of lovers that you have had to let go of, that have broken up with you. Exes. All of that is going to come up now. Watch for these signs. You are going to be able to synergize. You are going to be able to synthesize. You are going to put all of the messages you receive together and you're going to apply it to make this beautiful wish, hope, and dream manifest. Green Man is an energy that you will see when you're out in nature, when you feel like you're seeing a, a face um, in the, the bushes when you're seeing the leaves make a certain image that is green man reminding us of that ability to think outside of the box and to look at things that seem like they're not there okay look past the human logic of things and honor your intuition this week thank you so much even in the face of resistance okay change in direction okay they are divinely ordained remember you've got the willingness to achieve and to build now okay the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. So don't give up. When you are synergizing, you are putting all of those beautiful signs of spiritual guidance together so that you can manifest. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Having experienced the partial solar eclipse, you are making power moves. Extremely important changes that are going to affect you for years to come. Thank you so much. In love, in your career, in your personal life. So this is that week to really figure it out of who's coming with you and who's not. Pay attention to your spirit guides. Honey, they're here for you. They are sent by the Most High. Our ancestors, our angels, okay, our ascended loved ones. When you feel like they're there, they are there. Your parents that have passed on, your grandparents, your children that have passed on, siblings, okay, ex-wives, husbands, friends. 
When you feel their presence, they are helping you. They see where you're going and they want you to succeed. Welcome them in your space and welcome them in your life, in your journey. Allow them to show you which way to go. Allow them to show you how to synergize this week, how to put it together so that you have a path that's strong. Okay? Thank you so much. Divine Source, we are so grateful. Heavenly Angels, thank you so much. Thank you, Divine Spirit Guides. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy, embracing it, embracing that moment so that you're not blocking that blessing that's coming right to you, that you don't have your own hand up, and so that you don't have, you don't allow someone else to have their hand up blocking your blessings. Remember, there's a powerful change in direction happening this week. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. You ready? That person is not for you when you go back down memory lane. Some of you are bringing up the energy from an ex that needs to stay in the past. Uh, some of you are uh, dating and figuring it out that, you know what, either the people you're dating are not for you, but there's someone in your, in your romantic life that is not for you. When this doesn't apply, it is absolutely keeping you away from that temptation of saying, you know what, that temptation over there is not for me. But listen to this. Spirit has been sending you messages from the spirit realm on why this person is not for you. Please listen to your intuition. You do not have to force love or attention from someone unavailable, unworthy, or is only physical attraction filling a void. You do not have to settle. Once you remove the block you have settled into, Divine Source will begin moving you in the direction you are meant to go in. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Whoa. Okay, so that's strong confirmation. Third party, this isn't going to apply to everybody. But when these are coming up strong like that, you get the message. When it does apply to you, receive it. Okay, there's a change in direction for you. Put the two, two and two together. Honor what your spirit guides are showing you. You know, that information you find out is not just a coincidence. We don't have coincidences happening. Deception is in your relationship life. There is an unwelcome guest, and it could very well be you. There is someone meddling, and it is not healthy to welcome them into your love life. Be selective about who you share your intimate life with. Be selective about who has access to your personal relationship. Be careful that you are not the third party to someone else's relationship as well. This can also be an in-law. This can be um, even a child that's kind of overstepping their boundary. This can be a friend who you feel is overstepping their boundary in your love life, in your relationship. This can be, um, you know, a, a neighbor. This can be a person at the job. This can be a manager that's asking personal questions about your family life, but they're not welcome. And it's putting you in a block. This can also be an ex, your husband or your wife's ex 
that is using the children, for example, with text messages or um, just really bringing in negative energy. And now is the time to start putting in that effort to solidify this new direction that you are going in and that your family is going in as well. All right. Well, dear loves, I pray that you were able to find your spiritual guidance this week. And thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and share. Subscribe and become a spiritual superstar. We would love to have you. Take great care. Honey, I'll see you very soon. Mwah.